All right, so for this episode of My Road to Thailand, flying by the seat of my pants cooking, I'm going to prepare my own homemade pizza using a uh, store-bought pizza crust because I don't want to mess around with making my own dough. So start off with tomato sauce, which is actually spaghetti sauce. Throwing on some Canadian back bacon. Now I'm going to add in some garlic sausage. Add on some purple onion with celery pieces. Next I'll throw on some mushrooms. Followed by some tomatoes and then some uh, herb flavored goat cheese. Top it off with some shredded Parmesan cheese and throw it in the oven for 10 minutes, 400 degrees preheated oven. Although I meant to put the chives on before it went into the oven, this is what the pizza looks like coming out of the oven. And by the way, you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. I should have got mozzarella and that's what I was thinking, but I didn't get that. But I did put chives at the end. 10 minutes, 400 degrees. I believe it wouldn't have hurt to go a couple more minutes. Homemade pizza is the best. Duct tape them. I'm not going to show you the picture of what happened to my thumb. This was two nights ago while trying to make scalloped potatoes. You know, I'll show you what it, what I did it on. I'm not showing you the picture. See that blade? Guess who wasn't using the safety equipment? I won't do that twice, I guarantee you. And the reason I did it, because I've always used this, well, I've actually had this a very short period of time, and I've used it twice. The first time I used it, the second time, I'm watching a YouTube video of this guy making scalloped potatoes, and he doesn't have a rig like this, he just has uh, one that you hold in your hand, and uh, I think it's called a mandolin. I don't know why, because I thought a mandolin was a musical instrument. Anyway, he's holding it in his hand, and he's doing the thing with the potato. I thought, well, you know what? It's probably easier to do it that way, and quicker, because that thing's a pain in the rear. Trying to hold the potato down in there, slide it along. It works, but it's a pain. So, anyway, long story short, it was a bigger pain without it. If you're wondering why I got duct tape on there, there's gauze underneath. But I went to the hospital the uh, n day it happened, and uh, the chunk was pretty fair size. The doctor said they could have sewed it, but it would have grew back deformed because there was no skin to pull together so they wrapped it up it was huge because the sucker was bleeding like you wouldn't believe it but anyway last or today I took that off and uh, uh, I put some gauze on it and I didn't have any tape so that's why I got the, the uh, duct tape feel any pain anymore so it's on the road to healing I believe so again 
Safety first. Wear your hard hat, your safety glasses, safety boots, and uh, use the safety equipment for all you kids out there. No shortcuts. That's what happens. I'd show you the picture, but it's supper time. I don't want people to throw up. You know what I'm saying? I took the picture specifically for my Thai wife. She lives in Thailand, so she wasn't here to see you. <laughs> see the crying. <laughs> I'm looking around because I want to make sure I got all the blood off the ceiling and the, and the wall and the fridge and the floor. Because when I came back from the hospital, because I remember when I did it, it hurt instantly. And I'm like, <laughs> so blood is spraying everywhere. But I'm pretty sure I got it now. But again, you won't do that twice. So, anyway. Pizza turned out awesome. Um, maybe one of these days I'll try a homemade pizza sauce. But anyway, the wife is going to be calling soon from Thailand. So I got to cut it short. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if uh, you like this kind of video. If not, it's not the end of the world. But I appreciate you being Thank you. Bye for now.